Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 141. Problem number 141 that we are about to do is very similar to the problem that we just finished, problem number 140. As a matter of fact, this is problem number 140. I haven't erased it. And you will see how similar they are. Problem number 141. So if you watch, if you watch 140, problem number 141 that we are about to do will be very straightforward and I would like you to do it yourself first. So I'm, going to, I'm going to make the changes in the red color so you can see it. You can see how similar they are. It says a certain number is, re, is reduced by 3 in the previous problem. In this new problem, we're going to reduce it by 2. The result is then increased by 5. That's the same as before. The result is then increased by 5. The quotient, we are told, is then increased by, is increased by 1, not 4. It is increased by 1 and divided by 4. We are told that if we do all that, the final result is 2. Final result is 2. The question simply is, what's the original number? Pause the video and do it yourself. As you can see, the work is already there. It's the exact same work, no difference, okay? I'll give you two seconds to be able to pause the video. And I'll pause and unpause the video there is. Okay, here we go. What are we going to call the number? The number that we're looking for, we have to give it a name. What do you want to call it? Let's give it the same name that we did here. Last problem, we called it quantity n. So the first sentence says a certain number is, in, is reduced by 2. So let's do the problems here. Certain number is reduced by 2 and that number we are calling n. It's reduced by 2. The result is divided by 5. The result is divided by 5. And as we talked about it in the previous problem and, and many times before that, when you have a quantity and you divide by another number, the the result of the division process, the result of the division problem, is what is known as the quotient. Let's call it Q. That's the quotient. What are we going to do with that quotient? We are told that the quotient is then in, is increased by 1. The quotient is then increased by 1. So here is our quotient. We're going to increase it by 1. And divide by 4. And divide by 4. And we are told that if we do that, the final result is 2. Final result is 2. The question simply is, what did we start out with? These two simple equations what what we have to work with. We have two equations, two unknown, pretty straightforward process. So let's solve for let's solve for q from here. If you multiply both sides by four, multiply this side by four and that side by four, if you do that, we can get rid of this four. In other words, bring the four over there. And we find that q plus one equals eight. If q plus one equals eight, that implies that in turn implies that q must be seven. So we have the value of the q, put it in here, that's all n minus 2 over 5 would have to equal 7. We have to get rid of this 5 from here by, from the bottom. Let's multiply both sides by 5. And the 5 will go away and we find that n minus 2 must equal 7 times 5 which is 35. And when we add the 2 to both sides we find that n equals 37. That's all there is. n equals 37. What we need to do now very quickly is to verify our work. Where can we verify it? Let's verify our work up here. So what we are claiming is that, that the n is 37. We are claiming that n is 37 and if it is indeed 37, by the time we do all of these processes, we should end up with 2. Let's find out. And n is in 37, 37 is reduced by 2. So if you have 37, you reduce it by 2, we get 35. The result is divided by 5. 35 divided by 5 must be 7 and that's our quotient, that's our, this is our q. What do we do with the quotient? The quotient is then increased by 1. The quotient, which is 7 here, the quotient is increased by 1 and divided by 4. The quotient is, this is the quotient, 7 is the quotient, it's increased by 1, which is 8, divide, and divided by 4. And when we do that, the final result better be 2. Is 8 divided by 4 equal to 2? The answer is yes, of course. 8 divided by 4 does indeed equal 2 which means our answer is correct. Bye now.